Hi everybody, this is Mike Hamilton. It's the 29th of December. Just doing a very quick look at the markets, just as we head towards the end of the year. And I'll talk to you at the end about uh, the year-end review. So let's just take a quick look. Uh, main reason why I wanted to have, just have a quick chat with you is because this is the dollar daily index. And with massive resistance up here. And we've got the dollar just about coming off the 2 EMA up here. And just at the apex of uh, this wedge here and looking to see if this can break down. If this can break down, then expect further moves up in oil and a lot of the other commodities. Gold today is breaking up nicely as well on the back of this. It's major resistance at 13.92 and currently held back down here for a few days, broke out yesterday, got a continuation today. So this is the S&P 500 futures. So here we are all we've got here is consolidation patterns. All pullbacks to the 8-day moving average are bought. We've not had a breach of the 8-day moving average since way back here on the 30th of November. So the whole of November, so the whole of December, we've spent above the 8-day moving average. And this is what the weekly looks like. Still very, very strong. Getting a bit of a gap to the 8 EMA, getting a high RSI, but still holding up. And of course, volume dropping off because everybody's enjoying the season's um, festivities. Watching natural gas, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna break above this 50 MA. I'm gonna go long and see if we can get to 4.9 up here. Uh, this is oil. Volume is incredibly low, as you expect, uh, but just just holding up here, ho holding the eight-day moving average, and looking as if we can get up to 95. Grains are taking off. This is a wedge breakout in the beans. Uh, the big big bar here that broke the resistance and we had three four days consolidating on this trend line and then we started to move to the upside uh, this is a shooting star the gap to the eight but uh, look at this weekly uh, very very strong and with a potential breakdown of the dollar this has got further to go I very rarely watch the penny stocks but I do like this one I've watched this one a lot in the past this is RODM in the US, uh, not sure if it's in IG, but for those of you who got um, trade station accounts, trade for trading stocks, look at this weekly. If we break 2.88 here, um, we've got the potential to get up to 5.5, and equally the 200 EMA is at 2.8. So watching this one and looking to see if we can get up through 2.8 on RODM. This is one I am long. I'm long this one, Hawk HAWK, bought it on a 50 EMA pullback here. I've got a stop just behind this 50 day moving average. I've got a stop just behind 8.66, which is just slightly um, behind my entry. So I've got a very, very close stop, and we're going to see if we can get up to 11 and possibly up to 12 on Hawk. I know we've got the weekly. 20-day uh, moving average here. It's a double bottom and very, very nice daily. Not a lot of volume in it, I have to say, but I'm just going to sit in it with a close stop and then see if I can ride this one. Currencies. Uh, looks as if the Euro US is trying to hold and move to the upside. A massive trend line here, but it's got a lot of congestion above. I'm much, much more interested in this one. Yeah, if I want to trade uh, dollar pairs, then this is the one I'm in. I'm in. Uh, I'm up about 200 points here. I took it on a 240-minute chart. You can just see on the weekly chart. We're just trying to break. Well, we are just above resistance here on the weekly. That's the daily chart that really got my attention. Wedge breakouts like this are very, very powerful. Um, so here we are breaking up the. EMA. We've got an 8 and 20 cross here, and we are at resistance just above, but looking for this one to uh, really continue its move. If you go right back, you can see some, some history on this one. Look at this trend line. So, liking the New, New Zealand US, and liking the pound here. This is a doji-like bar last week. 
we have got 8 and 20 cross up here so we've got to be very careful with this one but on the face of it on the daily this is massive support here we've been playing with massive support and we're currently just a uh, nice big breakout today in smaller time frames just trying to get above the 8 here uh, but to me yesterday's bar was a stopping bar on major support so looking to see if the pound can move to the upside um, I would not trade it until we get a 50 MA break uh, for for a swing. If you're a swing trader, don't trade it until you get a 50 MA break above this trend line resistance. Um, if you are a intraday trader, then there are setups uh, intraday which are very very useful for this, and you can try and get position in smaller time frames. But there is a lot of congestion above, so if you're a swing trader, I would steer clear. Uh, finally, the year-end review and look ahead for 2011 will be on 7 p.m. GMT on Sunday. Uh, I'm sending out links. If you haven't got um, hold of a link, then go to the website tradeeasyway.com and look at the final page for a link. All right, thanks very much. Hope that helps. And when you get to this page, just click the registration button on the bottom. All right, uh, any questions? Email me. Otherwise, happy trading and uh, all the best for the new year.